What's going on everyone? My name is Jeff and in today's video we're going to be doing a product review on the Agent Wireless Inspection Snake Camera for iPhone. Now guys this package I have right here it's actually compatible with Android or iOS uh, but for this video I'm going to be using it with the Apple iPhone 10. So I figured what we would do is I would uh, show you everything inside the box then I will go through the product listing kind of step by step and comment on that then uh, put it all together show you how it works and then uh, we'll go take some photos with it. This is a 16 and a half foot cord uh, that this inspection camera has and that's the part I like most about it is the length of the cord okay I feel like you're getting a lot more bang for your buck uh, with this one than you are the others and guys I will have a listing for this product down in my comment section if you want to check it out for yourself let's head over there let me show you uh, what all comes in the box so this would be your end scope it comes fully equipped with a power switch and the waterproof LED lens uh, right here. Now we have the uh, wireless transmitter and of course it comes in a cardboard sheath so when you take it out of course this is what it looks like. And then of course you've got the instruction manual that comes with the package and uh, this makes up setup and assembly very easy. So also in the package you will find this small pack of accessories and you will also find uh, these two hooks right here. So one of the accessories is made to hold a magnet. Of course, one of them here, guys, is made to uh, hold a hook so you can hook things. And then lastly, guys, is a 45 degree mirror so you can see uh, from different angles. Okay. Then lastly, you're going to find a charging cable and a USB adapter. Okay, those are the last two things you will find in the box. Now, my suggestion from here would be uh, first to charge your transmitter guys and you're gonna do so through this port right here just go ahead and give it a good charge and there will be a red light on while it is charging okay so while we are waiting uh, for the transmitter to charge let's go ahead and get the software we need to run the camera okay so guys right here you actually have in the instruction manual a QR code that you can just scan from your camera in your iPhone and this will open and install the Wi-Fi look software uh, you need for the camera and there's actually another method too so you can just go to the App Store in your iPhone and look up the Wi-Fi look app and you can download and install the app this method also so once your transmitter is fully charged guys uh, go ahead and grab the end scope and uh, find the power switch and you're going to take the connector at the end of the power switch and you are going to plug it into this port right here okay so then once it's plugged in guys go ahead and hit the power button and turn it on when you first power it on you will see a little green light up uh, for four to five seconds then it will turn blue and you are ready for Wi-Fi connection. So once you get the blue light, just get in your iPhone and click on settings. Once you're inside settings, click on Wi-Fi. Now once you're inside of Wi-Fi, uh, you can connect right here to the transmitter guys through Wi-Fi uh, with this Wi-Fi look. Uh, obviously, every device will probably have a little bit different listing. And now you are ready to start using the camera. So just get back inside your iPhone and go to the Wi-Fi Look app and click on that to start. And so right here, guys, uh, you will see a toolbar over here to the far right. And like I said, you can take pictures. Uh, you can just use the camera. You can change landscape. And then you have other different settings uh, that you can change on the program. So I had one turn out pretty good, guys. I'm actually down in a vent right now, uh, looking around, looking at spiders and bugs and stuff like that. And now keep in mind, on the power switch, you do have a setting where you can turn the LED lights up and down. Like I said, uh, you know, some of it got too bright, um, but those LED lights do work really, really good. And I had a lot of success using those. Uh, like I said, the further down I got and some of the more darker areas I got, uh, the more that they came in handy. All right, now fair warning guys, it's about to get real creepy up in here. Uh, <laughs> here is some spider webs I found and uh, a big dead spider in the middle of it. Of course, it is January, it is freezing cold outside, so obviously all the bugs are probably dead right now. But uh, I did come across a dead spider and some spider webs. Yeah, 
pretty creepy. Um, just uh, kind of wanted to share that just so maybe you can get a look at how good of a shot you can get with the video camera. And then I decided to take a few pictures here. And uh, as you can see, this poor spider, he does not look too happy. Um, you know, we got a couple of pictures and uh, you know, that's kind of the quality you're going to get right there, guys. All right, so let's go through this product description, guys, and I can kind of tell you uh, my opinion on everything uh, up to this point and using it for a little while now. So the N-Scope, the waterproof snake camera, uh, yes, it is waterproof. I have used it in a drain. Uh, that's compatible with the Android uh, 4.2 or newer or the iOS 7 and newer smartphones, okay? Okay, and now let's talk about the snake camera. Uh, this includes a built-in lithium battery that makes it work for up to 90 minutes. So when I took the transmitter out of the box, guys, it took me about one hour and 20 minutes to get it to a full charge. Of course, while it's charging, uh, it will have a red light on, and then once the charge is complete, the light will just go off. Now, I used it on and off for about two hours. I don't know if it was a solid 90 minutes, but uh, it did seem to hold its charge well, and I didn't have any problems in that area. Now the boroscope, the waterproof camera is suitable for all different types of environments like low light, dark area, damp and wet, underwater conditions. And yes, uh, I can verify that. Uh, so like I said, I was maybe six to eight feet inside of a vent and it just kept getting darker. And like I said, you do have an adjuster on the power switch to make the LED lights brighter or you can even dim them down if you need to. And then like I said, inside of the drains, you're actually gonna wanna use less light but the waterproof function did work good and uh, again, did not have any issues in that area, okay? And so it's saying too also that the wireless N-Scope camera is suitable for all home usage and will help get rid of domestic problems with pipes, electricity, and household appliances. Since I've had this sent here, I've actually th thought of a lot of different ways I could use this. Like for example, in your car, if you ever do any car work, I think there's probably a lot of uses you could use this for uh, to get in some hard to see areas. Of course, anything household, you could drill through drywall and look for leaks and things like that. And uh, of course, uh, the two things I did like or actually the three things I did like about it was that it does have a magnet it does have a hook and then it has a 45 degree mirror so you can use that to see angles and then of course the inspection camera the semi-rigid cable can bend and hold its shape to access a wide variety of confined places to meet with different using needs yes the uh, the cord is very flexible like I said again at the start of the video it's 16 and a half foot long it's very flexible and very easy to use and really all I have is good and positive positive things to say about using this. And then two, lastly, the transmitter is very compatible uh, with several different devices. So like I said, you can use it on Android or iOS phone. You can also use it on your PC or Mac as well. Once I got the transmitter charged and got it hooked up, I was using it almost immediately. And uh, you know, the software was very easy to use, very to, easy to understand. And uh, you know, I would say pretty much anybody uh, could jump in and learn how to do it in just a matter of a few minutes. So that's pretty much all I got guys uh, Like I said, I really enjoyed using this product I will probably continue to use it more in the future and guys I will have this product listed down in my comment section So feel free to go down there and check it out and if you have any further questions about this camera guys Drop me a comment and I will respond to them as quickly as I can but with that said guys Thank you for watching the video and have a great day